Our words are powerful and they have consequences. We have a choice. So every day we have a choice. We have a choice to use our words like a bit or a very small rudder or a tiny spark to either build up or tear down. The writer of Proverbs said in Proverbs 12, 18, there is one whose rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings what? Brings healing. Likewise, the writer of Ephesians, the Apostle Paul says this in 4.29, let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for the building up as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. So there is power in our words. Our words are powerful and they have consequences. So we need to be careful with the things that we say. In fact, the Bible in James paints pictures of the life-changing power of our words that gives either life or death or builds up or tears down or blesses or curses. We have a choice. So every day we have a choice. We have a choice to use our words to either build up or tear down. To build or tear down our spouse, to build up or tear down a friend or our brothers and sisters in Christ, to build up or tear down our parents, to build up or tear down our children. The Apostle Paul says something very interesting to fathers. He said it to the Colossians. He said, Colossians 4.21, fathers, do not provoke your children lest they become discouraged. By the grace of God, we have a choice. But now you say, well, I don't do that. Well, maybe you don't. But let me share with you a few negative words that some parents do. We sometimes say, you are bad. And we don't say your behavior is bad, but we say you are bad. Or another one is, you can't do anything right. Or you're driving me crazy. Or you make me so angry. Or why can't you be more like? That's easy to do, and we do it. But we just don't realize the power of our words. Now compare that for a minute with more positive, meaningful words our kids would love to hear. How about this? Great job. I'm so proud of you. Because this kind of sounds like God to Jesus. I'm glad you're my son or my daughter. I love spending time with you. Or I'll never forget the day you were born. You were such an incredible gift from God and you still are. Now let me ask you, which words are you most prone to using with your children? With your spouse? With your brothers or sisters in Christ. Words that the writer of Proverbs said bring death or words that bring life. What kind of words do you use the most, positive or negative? What kind of words do you use the most with your spouse? What kind of words did you use the most with your husband, with your wife, with your children, with your grandchildren? By the grace of God, we have a choice. And number three, and this is the most important, what positive, meaningful words of blessing do you need to take or to hear from God the Father today? Maybe it's what I said. You need to hear the words that you are valuable. You are chosen. You are loved. You are his child. And he is our father. Or I'm for you and nothing can separate us from his love. Or I will finish the good work that I've started in you. Which one of those blessings do you need to take today so that you in turn can be a blessing to someone else?